What's up everybody? This is Sachi and this is this week's latest tech news. NVIDIA's AI recreates Pac-Man from scratch just by watching it being played. If you watched 50,000 games of Pac-Man, you'd probably be pretty good at drawing out what you saw. NVIDIA's game Yan Artificial Intelligence Model, however, was able to recreate the classic dot chomping game for its 40th birthday from scratch without a traditional game engine in a matter of days. There's no coding involved, guys. No pre-rendered images for the software to draw on. The AI model is simply fed visual data of the game in action along with the accompanying controller inputs and then recreates it frame by frame from this information. The resulting game is playable by humans and NVIDIA says it will be releasing it online in the near future. Liberian said the work had been done in collaboration with Pac-Man's creator Bandai Namco. NVIDIA says work like this shows how artificial intelligence will be used for game design in the future. Developers can input their work into the AI and use it to create variations or maybe design new levels. Researchers from the Chipmakers AI Research Lab in Toronto used the company's DGX systems to train the GameGAN neural networks on 50,000 Pac-Man episodes combined with keystroke data of an AI agent playing the game as well as research data from game developer Bandai Namco. Although the recreation of the game is certainly cool, there is a bigger picture. Next up, a first look at Oppo's first smartwatch. Yep, this looks like an Apple Watch. The OLED screen, though, is an improvement. It's larger than the 44mm Apple Watch at 1.91 inches across, but the watch keeps a 46mm size. Oppo has shrunken the bezels and curved the edges of the screen itself along with the covered glass. The pixel density is the same as the Apple Watch at 326 ppi. The colors are super vibrant and it's easy to see outside. There's no crown style control here, just two physical buttons on the right edge. Everything else is handled by the touchscreen. Oppo's watch straps are detachable in a similar way to the Apple Watch with simple buttons for the release mechanism on the watch's rear, but the straps pop directly in and out rather than sliding from the side. While the Oppo watch is made of aluminum, it's polished to a glossy blue-black finish to the point where it looks more like a steel app watch at first glance. The Oppo watch runs a customized version of Android 8.1 called Color OS Watch. Starting at around $250 in China, this will be available in the second half of 2020. What do you guys think about this? Last up guys, Samsung announces an outdoor 4K TV called the Terrace. Terrace is designed for outside viewing. It's IP55 water and dust resistant, and the screen can crank up to a brightness of 2000 nits to help you see everything even when the sun is out. The prices of the Terrace might strike you as wildly well expensive. The 55 inch model is $3,455, 65 inch at $4,899, and the 75 inch display is $6,499. Samsung is highlighting that for all its toughness against the elements, the Terrace Terrace is still rather sleek with inoffensive bezels. As for the panel itself, the Terrace is comparable to Samsung's standard upper-end QLED TVs. Do you think it's worth it buying something this expensive? Would you just rather watch a movie inside your house and save thousands of bucks? That's it for this week's latest tech news, guys. This is Sachi signing off. I'll see you guys again next week. Bye-bye.